The last passenger flight into Doncaster Sheffield Airport is scheduled to land this evening. It's a sad day for the many people who work at the airport, which has been open for 17 years. Let's speak now to Sarah Barnes, the regional organiser for the GMB. Sarah, good morning. Good morning, Toby. Yeah, I can barely imagine how people... I mean, there'll, there'll, be, there'll be people there who've worked there for 17 years, aren't there? Yeah, there are. The, the people's been there since the beginning. Um, you can imagine how upset people are feeling today with the last passenger flight coming in. It must be so tough. What's the GMB's take on it? What's, what's going to happen? OK, so um, we've spoken to the MD of DSA this morning, who's confirmed that negotiations are live and they are going on. Um, there's some due diligence to be done on both sides, so consultations are ongoing. Peel are still engaged. I think it'll be some time before we hear anything. Um, passenger activity has ended, but at the moment, Toby, it's still a live airport. Right, and do you, I mean, what can you take from that? Is that good news um, for you? I think there is still a, a slither of hope. Um, I mean, no um, no worker at the airport has actually been made redundant yet. Consultations right. are ongoing. They have been extended. So there is still hope. It may not seem it at the moment. Things seem pretty bleak. Um, but those negotiations are ongoing. Peel have not said, no, we are not selling the airport. Um, that that is, still, that is still happening. Um, workers, they don't know what to do, whether to go on to new jobs or whether to hang around. Most workers are on paid leave at the moment, Toby. Right. Right. OK, so, so what do you do then? Do, as, uh, until they're given notice of redundancy, I suppose there's very little that GMB can actually do, is there? That's right. All we can do is just support our members through the collective consultations and, and the one-to-ones, which are ongoing and deadlines have been extended within the, the, the companies within the airport. Um, so, yeah, there's not a lot we can do right now, um, apart from just keeping touch with our members, um, offer what, what support we can and, and wait to hear. We, we do know that the Peel have got previous on this and indeed in his book in 2019 Gary Shrubsall uh, said that Peel are one of the secretive companies who hoard English land um, mm -hmm. so, so the concern is that they're prepared to sit on this for 15 years let it go to rack and ruin and then when everything when all the kind of <clears throat> everything falls away from it just sell it for housing yeah they are known for that Toby aren't they um, we will just you know, hoping and praying that that's not the case, that Peel decide to do the right thing and actually think about the, the impact that getting rid of the airport would actually have. Um, we don't need more warehouses. We need this vital piece of infrastructure for, for our um, local economy. Well, it certainly is a, uh, uh, it's part of the economy, but it's part of the society as well. And I mean, the people who live around Baltry and Finningley and places like that, this is, this is a big part of their, of their community, isn't it? It certainly is. You know, if the airport closes, it's going to affect, you know, the, the house prices around there and not only just the, you know, the massive income to the local economy. It really is. Listen, thank you very much indeed for talking to us this morning. We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. And the bands there from the G... Uh, Sarah Bounds, where you from the GMB. It's Toby at Breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield. It's